Welcome to Electro Online. We're now ready to find the current as a function of time in our series circuit. Now, notice that we have a relationship between the current and the voltage. Now, remember that the current is the current through the inductor, the voltage is the voltage across the capacitor. So, in the previous video, we found the voltage as a function of time, and we also found the derivative of the voltage with respect to time. Now, we're going to use that in order to find the current. Now take a look at this relationship. So I know that this is the initial conditions, but we can also write that dv dt is equal to the current divided by the capacitance, which means we can then write that the current is equal to the capacitance times dv dt. So all we have to do is take the equation that gives us the voltage, the derivative of the voltage with respect to time, multiply times the capacitance, and that gives us the current. Of course, an equal sign might be very helpful there. All right, so let's do that. So in this case, that's equal to the capacitance, and the capacitance is right here, one quarter of a ferret, so it's one quarter times the dv dt, which is equal to four thirds times 16 e to the minus t minus four times four thirds e to the minus four t like this and I guess I was using a bracket so let me put a bracket in okay like that so now we multiply times four that's part of the reason why I left it in this format because one quarter times this gets rid of the fourth so this is equal to one third times 16 e to the minus t the fourths cancel out so that's minus four thirds e to the minus 4t and of course that will be the current as a function of time through the capacitor so you can see that once you have the voltage and the derivative of the voltage it's really easy to find the current uh, through the inductor and that is how it's done with the correct sign this time 